Damn! <laughs> All right, what's going on there, guys? 2011 Toyota Camry um, has a long start. Normally, a long start uh, most most of the time either caused by a fuel injection system, backed up air uh, fuel filter, or a failing fuel pump. In this case, this car has 180,000 miles on it with the original fuel pump. Fuel pumps are cheap. It's a very easy thing to get to on this model. So what we're gonna do is pop the seat. I'm gonna show you guys how to replace the fuel pump on this car. Um, if you reach down here, you'll feel some pins, um, some little hooks, and what you're gonna do is get yourself a nice uh, wrench. You're gonna get up underneath them, and you're gonna pop them up. But unfortunately, I can't do this on camera because I need two hands. Otherwise, it's very difficult to do this, so you'll feel them. Once you get the hook and you get the um, top of the bar through the hook, then just push down and it'll pop it up. There's one on that side of the uh, car, too. Alrighty, wow, I have to go through a lot of stuff and get all this crap out of here because holy mackerel, you can tell kids have been in this car. Um, Alright, so first thing we're going to do, this is going to be the fun one, is we have to pop this lid off, which is going to require us to have a utility knife and we need to cut around the edges, slide it in there the best we can so we can get it high enough that we can pop it off and uh, go from there and then we'll have access to the fuel pump. So I'm actually going to be disconnecting what I can here, um, but this can't be disconnected yet until I get this lid off. So we got to take a utility knife, go around the edge, and go from there. Sorry guys, realize it's not the best lighting. There's a bunch of eight millimeter bolts around it. First, we're gonna pop that little yellow clamp off. I'll see if I can do that on camera and then I'm gonna take those out real quick. And then I got a little container on the ground there. I'll be picking that up, putting it on the seat when I pull the gas pump out so that we don't leak gas all over on the inside of the car and we'll go from there. All right, I just unboxed the uh, new fuel pump here, 46 bucks, a lot cheaper than going to the park store and getting it. Looks fine to me, everything looks good. I even like that that line is tucked, the other line was not tucked so it was a lot harder to get it out, so 
This is a nice little unit here. I think it's time we go pop this in, put our car back together, and uh, take it for a test drive, see what happens. All right. This is a fairly uh, fairly easy tank to understand. The back goes in first and kind of slides over like this. And then this just drops in there nice and gently along the bottom. And this one I believe might be slightly spring-loaded to keep pressure. So this just kind of goes in there straight like so. Make sure it's got a good seal. And uh, then you just put a little pressure down on it. Make sure it's seated right. Get some pressure down on it like so. Get it right into its happy place, and then you start putting the screws back in. It can be a bit annoying. This isn't fun to do this, but this little cap goes right over the top of it. Line it up with your holes, wherever those are at. <laughs> there we go, that settled in nicely. Alright, let's grab the keys and start it up to make sure everything's good here. It takes a little fumbling to get that in. You gotta get things really lined up. Otherwise you get a little gas leakage, whatever. You start smelling fumes underneath the car. It's back together. So let's start it up, get it primed, see how it does here. Alrighty guys, first startup of this thing. It's gonna probably take a minute to get some gas pressure build up. I'm gonna prime it a few times by just turning the key forward and then turning it off to make sure it turns on. Pretty snappy. It only took a second to get gas there. I'm gonna make sure she's not gushing. That was a pretty easy startup compared to what it normally does. Uh, sounds fine. All right, I'm going to put my tools away here. We're going to put the seat back in. I hope that helps you guys. Don't forget to smash the like button, show some love. I make these videos for you guys. They're not for me. It's just very simple. Stuff like this, simple. Simple stuff to do, man. You don't, you don't even really have to think about it. It's just the hardest part is getting really the seat out. After that, it's just kind of lining up the fuel pump lid and going from there. So, yeah, very easy startup. I'm going to move my truck now, take it for a ride, make sure everything's good. Then I'll throw the back seat back in and we're good to go. Are you sure this is okay? You're in country, dude. Live a little. Now she's pretty sensitive, so go easy on the throttle, okay? All right. <laughs>